OK page, this plate rack, I love it. Tell us a little bit about what inspired this. It's so much fun because plate racks, they, they can be boring, they can be charming. Okay. This one is sentimental. Aww. And we've actually taken a recipe from my grandmother, my great grandmother, Aww. Grandma Marge. Okay, We're Grandma We're from Marge. Wisconsin, and you have to say Grandma Marge. Yeah, there you go. Cake. I like but that. I so. first saw this actually, I was inspired by Thistlewood Farms, and she used a silhouette to print out a recipe. Do you know what a silhouette is? I do. It's very fancy. I think I do. Well, those of us who don't have one, I thought it'd be a great idea to actually take one that's in my grandma's writing I love it. and blow it up. <gasps> it's your grandma's writing. Yes. Great grandma's writing. My great grandma. So look at this is this was the recipe. This is the recipe. I have it at home in a cookbook in a nice little uh, carrier. This is the original. This is the original. Yes, you can see it's got grease stains on it. You got be all careful sorts of... with that. I know. I know. I'm just gonna it's set it so, down. It's very sweet and very but sentimental. Okay. I took that to my local print shop okay. and had them blow it up to poster size. So you can get anything blown up. This is 24 by 36. This will take them just a few hours to do, and it's so much fun because they were able to take something that's this tiny right. and blow it up to something that will fit perfectly in your dining room or your kitchen, and it's just a, such a great way to give a little hats off oh, to grandma and, yeah, and display your plates. Display the plates, but yeah. also, I mean, just keep this, uh, you know, keep this around. You keep grandma with you the whole time. I now, know. I know as far as the actual plate rack itself, you got started a little bit earlier. Yes, I did. Right, let's take a look at that. Yes. Okay, so first I took some one by two here, and I, you can make this for any size that you have in your house. Um, and I'm using the miter saw there to cut these down. I'm doing all straight cuts. So if you want to have the hardware store do it for you, they will absolutely okay. do it for you. Okay. It's all straight. So I do the bottom and the top. I did one by two. You can do one by three if you've got bigger platters. And then I used a nail gun. I'm just using inch and five eighths nails here. Used a little wood glue to put it on. And I'm basically building a frame be behind a half inch piece of plywood. This one, and you can find the directions online, this is 30 inches by 40 inches. And I thought it fit the poster size really, really well and worked in our dining room. Right. So now I'm making the shelves. This again will be to your own to your own preference. If you've got great big platters, you're gonna wanna make this a little bit bigger. Sure. I did mine just 12 inches apart and then painted it white. I'm using a semi-gloss here because it's easier to clean. You want a semi-gloss or a high-gloss, that's something that is in a high traffic area. And let's say you are gonna be putting these uh, plates in and out. Now this this is cr not crown molding, but decorative molding. Okay. And you can see on the bottom there, I put it just a smidgen in, just a smookshten in above the, uh... the bottom because this is gonna be the lip to hold in our plates. <laughs> now this one is three inches up. This I say took the same decorative molding, just put it in on either side with the nail gun because that will hold our plates from falling forward. You are so good. It's that so was, much that fun. That was great. Well done. Thank oh you, man, thank you. so much talent. Okay, okay, so now we've got obviously the structure built, but yep. we need to get great grandma's recipe up yes. there. So how do we do that? Well, I think to, if you just wanted to put it on before you put the shelves on, you absolutely could. Okay. But you're going to miss part of the recipe, and I want to make sure I can see her oh, recipe. Oh, you're going to miss it because you're going to be putting yep. the little shelves in there. Okay. So what I did is I took this and I divided it into three. Got so it. I cut it with, with a board and um, a straight edge there. And my Very little exacto knife. Okay. And so, then how do you actually attach it right up there? Okay. So I am going to, here, I'm going to have you hold this. I will hold this. I'm taking Mod Podge. Um, this is a mat. You can use um, gloss or semi gloss too. Okay. And I'm just going to paint it on there all right it doesn't need to be great because this is all going to be hidden okay so like and then tips to make sure that it's all uh Ooh. smooth and... yes you take a damp rag like this and uh -huh. i'll show you once i put it on what you want to do it's very similar if you've ever hung wallpaper and a lot of people haven't but if you have you want to go over it with the damp rag to okay. make sure that you get all the bubbles out and it just that's a great, great. tip it's, and the paper that you get from the print store is okay to put right onto the Mod Podge like that? It it's is. not going to bubble? And this it will is. make sure that there's no bubbling under there. And this is actually the least expensive way to get it from the print shop. So oh. I loved it because they can mount it for you. They can do it on thicker paper. I just asked for poster paper. Then you make sure it's nice and glued down. Um, I would add a lot more glue if I was doing this for yeah, real. Yeah, no, of course. But look, you get the whole recipe. Yes. It's a great uh, sort of uh, tip of the hat to uh, great grandma. Now we got to put the plates up there as well. Yes. This is just going to bug me. Let me just okay. add this right. right here. The little Listen, perfectionist I get in me it. comes now, out. Now, while you're doing that, I want to ask also, I know things can get a little heavy. Uh, these uh, plate racks can get heavy. So what was your, what are your tips for actually putting this up on the oh, wall for in it? such a way? I use a French cleat. And they're, each of the French cleats that you use, are um, they'll tell you how much 
much they can hold. The one I got holds 300 pounds. I doubt we'll ever put 300 pounds up here. But it gets but pretty like heavy, that. so. It does, they're plates, so you wanna make sure that they're okay. All right, Jeez, I, I feel like I should be you. helping more. I, I know. I mean, you know, there we go. you've got it. The rest oh I can God, reach. Look how good this looks. This is so much fun. It's so, fantastic. And I love the, you know, if you don't have see-through cabinets like we do here, yeah. it's such a great way to show off some plates, especially if you're gonna make this, um, with grandma's plates and her recipe, you might as well just throw in her lovely plates as well. One more to Thank go. You. There you have oh, it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and the little vase. Oh, wait, what? Oh, this guy right here? Look at how tiny it can That's going in, in there, too. too. So yes. you, and of course, like you mentioned, you make this, um, you know, you can create it to your own size and dimensions that suits your own, your exactly. own space. So good for you. Look at this.